back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma what in the fake news fuckery is going on full time family Dana White just shut down, vehemently shut down Nate Diaz versus Tyron Woodley. He went as far to say that UFC lawyers had to get in contact with Tyron Woodley and tell him to stop saying the fight was happening. But yo, it's not just Tyron Woodley. That's why this is so crazy. Tyron Woodley and Nate Diaz are saying the fight's happening and they're the ones in the fight. Dana White says with the George St. Pierre and all these other situations, I can't make these guys fight. If, if he says no to fighting this guy, what can I do? You know, if Tyron Woodley's saying, I don't want to fight RDA right now, I want to fight Nate Diaz, and Nate Diaz is saying yes, how can you really stop that? So that's why I believe this fight's going to happen, although Dana White is denying it. Now, we've seen Dana White deny fights before, but, I mean, it is what it is. Tyron Woodley has came out and, and responded. We'll get into that in another video. But Dana White has said that um, the Nate Diaz and Tyron Woodley is not happening. Also, during the broadcast, he discussed uh, Mario Yamasaki, that controversial stoppage, with Valentina Shevchenko. And while discussing that, he also did say Valentina Shevchenko will be getting her women's flyweight title shot that we all know she deserves versus mm -hmm. Nico Montano. And so with that being said, the UFC uh, boss, Dana White, also talked about multiple other things like John Jones' future. So you can go watch that entire interview. But one of the most interesting things here for sure is him shutting down this Nate Diaz and uh, Tyron Woodley fight. Nate Diaz spoke with ESPN and said that, you know, Ty Tyron Woodley makes the most sense. And so, yes, I, although the fight was never official and the UFC, you would think, has to sign off on these fights... Both of the fighters are in agreement. It's a big fight, the big fight Tyron Woodley's been asking for. And me as a hardcore fan, yeah, no, I don't want to see Tyron Woodley versus Nate Diaz. That's not the fight I want to see. But I know a lot of the, it's a big fight for the casual fans. It's what Tyron Woodley's been wanting to fight with a guy that's a household name. And Nate Diaz, he's been sitting out waiting on whatever the fuck he wants to wait on anyway. So if Nate Diaz is going to come back, and he's telling us he will come back, but only versus Tyron Woodley, why would we shut that down for Tyron Woodley versus RDA when we know Tyron Woodley doesn't want to fight? And you can say, well, RDA is the number one contender. So was Steven Wonderboy Thompson in both of the fights Woodley fought him. So was Damian Maya. Tyron Woodley's been fighting number one contenders, and, you know, with a little bit of complaints. I get it. But most of you guys that complain about him are complaining about somebody complaining. I like to point that out. But with that being said, this is very interesting. Dana White has shut down... Um, these this these fight rumors although both fighters have agreed on it now i saw i saw rda and time Woodley have reacted to this so i'll get to that in another video but it is what it is man let the full-time family know what you think in the comments what in the fake news fuckery is going on bro the fighters are saying yes but dana's saying no but I don't, i'm out man it's the motherfucking D O double g